G'day guys, Aussie FIFA HD and welcome back to episode number 73 of Foot Champions of Glory on my channel. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Today your target is 15 likes, I know you guys can smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button to help it grow. Lads, today we are going to be showing you the gameplay from the first 10 games of the Foot Champions Weekend League, as well as some questions from you guys in the previous episodes. And remember, if you do want me to answer any of your questions or, you know, any comments whatsoever, um, I can answer them in the next episode. So be sure to chuck them down below. Comment whatever you want to do, you know, whatever you want uh, to do with FIFA, and I'll be sure to answer that in the next episode. But to jump into some comments from you guys, Lovely support lately, just fantastic support, and we've gained um, 150 subscribers in the last week. That is just amazing, and I would like to thank you for that. No idea why, I do believe it could have a, bi a, a, a big um, part of that would be from that trading method, trading method that I uploaded. It got like 7k views, which is just amazing, but yeah, thank you for the support. It's been amazing, and uh, yeah. Just just spectacular. Anyway, guys, to uh, jump into some of the questions or comments from you guys in the last episodes. We had a few, actually, and I haven't actually made one of these videos in a while, and I haven't, I haven't been able to answer your questions. So there's going to be quite a few in this episode. This is in the Elite One Monthly Foot Champions Rewards episode. So to jump into those now. CFC RMFC says, if you missed out on doing the... Player of the Month Sterling SBC, Inform Lucas is a really similar alternative. Unlucky on your rewards, Aussie. And yes, I must I must agree, like Lucas is very small, quick, not the strongest, but very agile in getting through, you know, the tackles. And uh, that's what Sterling is like. And I have to agree, you know, I haven't used the 94 Inform red card Lucas like he said I should, but uh, maybe I might give him a try in the lead one team. We'll see how we go. KS Freestyle says, great video but unlucky. And yeah, it was a bit unlucky. You know, when I do get Elite 1 monthly rewards and also some Elite 2, I believe it was, weekly rewards, I do expect a little bit better than what I got. Because, you know, when you're getting 20 red informs and your best player is Falcao, I mean, it's not... I mean, it's definitely not the best. So I was very disappointed, actually. And uh, hopefully in our next monthly rewards, we can get better players. Skidja Hurohoa says, Unlucky man, keep it up. Thank you very much, man. Uh, your, your support has just been um, fantastic in, you know, in the last few episodes. So thank you for that. Classy Mo says, Hey, Aussie. Do you believe that the weekend league is kind of pointless after team of the season is over? Um, yes. Yes, I do. Uh, you know, and knowing me, um, I probably will still play it. But to answer your question, yes, I do think it is pointless. You know, because the reason why people play Weekend League is so that they can obviously get the rewards. And, you know, the rewards are just out of this world. We've never seen anything, anything like this in previous FIFAs. And uh, the thing is, after Team of the Season, there are no popular leads playing football. So that means that, you know, the the EPL won't have any, you know, um, they won't have any informs. Neither will lead one. Neither will Calcio A. Neither will the Santander. And uh, it's just going to be dead. I believe it definitely is going to to be dead. And I think, um, I don't know what EA is going to do. Uh, you know, they could do something, they could up the rewards uh, so that people stay on and play the game. But to be honest with you, with the, you know, with the informs that will be coming out, you'll be seeing the informs just from the MLS and just from really low standard leads, which no one will want. So I honestly don't think there will be much point. And uh, yeah, we'll have to see what uh, what time brings and uh, how EA, you know, sort of fits that issue. Mr. Bass Boost says, great, keep it up, thanks. And yeah, thank you very much, man. I do appreciate your support. Hudson Gailey says, notification squad. Hashtag notification squad. <laughs> thank you very much, my dude. And you know, as always, you know, if you want to ch chuck that bell next to the subscribe button and uh, it'll let you know when I've uploaded so I can answer you guys in the comments straight away, that would be amazing if you guys could hit that. It's up to you, but uh, yeah, you'll be able to see when I upload the minute I do. That's it for the questions and comments from that video. Thank you very much for the support. That got 20 likes, which is just amazing. We move on to the Pro vs. YouTuber episode against Cezanus. What an episode that was. You guys' support was amazing. We got 23 likes on that video. Thank you very much for that. 
Jed Hopkins says, this was awesome. When 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 are you going to be at regionals? Some of your reactions were hilarious. Haha, <laughs> thank you very much, man. Um, yeah, I would love to go to regionals next year. Um, obviously, regionals are over for FIFA 17. Um, you know, FIFA 17 in general is pretty over. You know, the FIFA 18 trailer has already come out. The hype of it is starting to build up. And uh, I do believe that FIFA 17 is losing its... Losing his popularity, um, and that's 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 what happens every year. And I didn't honestly think it would get like this because of foot champions. But when Classy Mo before said, um, you know, that what is the point of playing it? You know, after the team of the season is gone, and he's right. You know, what is the point? There's no good rewards. Um, there's no good players in packs. So what is the point? Why would people want to play foot champs? You know, just to I don't know because they're bored. I don't know, but there wouldn't be much point. Classy Mo says also. Oh my god, 700 subs now. Wow, you're growing so quickly. Congratulations, brother. Thank you very much, Lessimo. And as I said, you know, I have no idea how I've got this many subs in the last week, but we have gained 150 subscribers in the last goddamn week, and I cannot believe it. Um, you know, the support has been out of this world. You guys are the best, and I would like to thank you for turning up and watching my videos. Aiden Morton says, hey, good video, video, bro. Thank you very much, Aiden. I do appreciate it, my friend. CFC RMFC says, I swear you only just hit 600 subs not long ago. Well done, Aussie. Thank you very much, my friend. And yeah, you're right. Not long ago, I was on 600 subs. Now, I am on 714, which is just... I don't know where they're coming from. I'm not complaining. And, uh, you know, it can only be put... Only be put down to you guys for, my, for viewing my videos, so thank you for that. G plays, um, and then some other name says, Hey, do you play? Do you want FIFA GFX, bro? And um, I do believe that is uh, um, banners and logos, etc. I mean, yeah, maybe. Um, it sounds not too bad. Um, I do, I do like my banner. I do like my profile uh, picture. I think it's it's well made, just from me, you know, because I did make it. Uh, I think I did a good job on them. But it, uh, you know, let me know if uh, if you're interested in making me one. Um, that would be great. Legends on PS4 episode, which was uploaded yesterday, um, and it went down really well as well. We got 16 likes on that video, so thank you very much for that. Ross Castaldi. Ross? Hey Ross, how are you man? Ross Caseldi says, most of other sources say it would, would, hang on, most of other sources say it will be on both consoles. Would make more sense if it were both, were for both. Yes, and you're right. Um, I do think it would make sense that Legends, or Icons as they call them now, uh, would be on both, you know, uh, consoles because PS4 users have missed out. They haven't had the fun of of playing with Legends, and I think that's part of the game. Uh, you know, I think it is should be it should be part of the game is playing with the Legends of the game, playing with past good you know past freaks of the game. Um, I'm calling them freaks, you know, past freaks of the game um, that are just were just out of this world and were just you know world class. And I think that should be part of the game. Uh, it's going to be part of the game next year, which is just amazing. And I honestly can't wait to use Legends in FIFA 18. So, yeah. John Is says clickbait. <laughs> and I, um, I sort of... I didn't know why he thought it was clickbait. So I replied by saying this. Haha, <laughs> you're the only one so far out of 90 people who seems to think it's clickbait. I suppose everyone has their opinions, but it clearly is not clickbait. If you watch the video properly and have kept uh, kept updated with EA, there will be legends on PS4 next year. And yes, I wasn't clickbaiting. None of that in that title was clickbait. I do believe there's a trend going around at the moment, uh, you know, with Nepenthes, with Nick, with AA9, that portrays YouTubers to be doing clickbait. And, you know, being honest with you guys, coming from me, being honest, YouTubers don't mean to upset their viewers. I don't mean to upset the, my viewers, you know? If you guys have a critical opinion about me or something that I need to change, I take it on board. I want to improve what I'm doing wrong. And I don't want to anger you guys. I don't want to get on your bad side. I don't want to make you angry with my content. So why would I clickbait? It just does not make sense. And the Panthers, with 1.5 million subscribers, wouldn't want to clickbait either because he doesn't want to make his viewers angry. Because if he had, if he made his viewers angry, then 
I don't know even what would happen. He would, it would just ruin his YouTube channel, which is his job, which is what he supports his family with, his daughter, his wife. So it just, uh, people have got a wrong perspective on this clickbait thing. And I think, look, I'm going to read out what I said. Legends on PS4, FIFA 18 Ultimate Team. Oh my effing god, Legends on PS4, Foot 18. FIFA 18 Ultimate Team. There is not one bit of clickbait in that title that misleads you guys to click on the video. The reason why? Because it's actually in the video. The proof is there. EA are going to release Legends, or Icons, on FIFA 17 PS4. They just are. They've released it. They've confirmed it. So when people say it's clickbait, really does annoy me. It annoys me when I hear other YouTubers have to put up with people saying it's clickbait when it really it isn't. Because Nepenthes has obviously had that issue as well. And I, I mean, I even put a, a supportive message in his video. I said, you know, keep it going, mate. It doesn't matter, you know. If you're a true viewer, if you're a true fan of the channel, then you would not complain about this clickbait, if it is even clickbait at all. And you would just support Nepenthes because you like Nepenthes. Not because of what he's put in the title. It shouldn't matter. You should just watch the video if you like him. So, I'm going to stop. However, um, it's just my opinion. And, uh, yeah, I think, I think, John, as you need to... I, need, I think you need to reevaluate what you think is clickbait and what you think isn't clickbait. LSM Van der Mulen. Another loyal viewer to the channel. Another, you know, he's been in a few a few videos showing his support, so thank you for that. He says, Legends on PC. And yes, I think as well, um, I looked at something that PC, PS4, and Xbox as well will have them. So, something I also want to want to mention, and what I want in the game, is um, cross-platform gameplay. So... PS4 users can play Xbox, Xbox can play PS PC, PC can play PS4 players, you know? It would just make, um, it would bring the community to together. I think it would bring the FIFA community together because there's a lot more players, they can, they can, they can bond, make friends, whatever, but I think it would benefit the community and benefit EA in, a, in some way if they had it on cross-platform. Because I do know there's a few games that have cross-platform online multiplayer. Um, I can't remember what they were, but I do know that Xbox can play PS4 users on some other games. So, yeah. Safe Gaming. Safe Gaming. He says, by the way, they're called Icons and they're on PS4, PC and then Xbox. When I pre-ordered the game, it said... So, um, yeah, you are right, Safe Gaming. Um, you're 100% right. Um, they are called icons. And yes, I just read up something before that says that it will be on all platforms. Because I, in that video, I said, I don't think Xbox will have Legends this year. And the reason for that is because um, they don't own the rights anymore. And it makes sense, doesn't it? Xbox have prevented PS4 users from having Legends. But now PS4 owns the rights. Shouldn't they have? Shouldn't they make Xbox not have Legends then? Because that's what Xbox have been doing to PS4 users. You know, it, it makes sense if, if PS4 wasn't going to let Xbox we, uh, have Icons or Legends or whatever you want to call them. So I think, um, you know... Uh, I, I was wrong in that sense, you know, saying that it will, Xbox won't have them, but I, I just had misinformation. I thought maybe they wouldn't. That was my opinion, but it's been confirmed they're going to be on all platforms. But that was the end of the questions for um, that video as well, and I do have some from other episodes, but I won't have time to actually comment them because we're actually getting towards the end of the gameplay. But in the end, lads, in the end, you see me concede a 2-1 goal in the 70th minute. That was it. Couldn't come back from that game. We were 9-1 in one in the first 10 games, which we've done the last three weeks, and I haven't been able to make anything of it. Because I was, if I was able to do that four times in a row, that's 36 wins. That is amazing. However, I cannot do that, and I just get so frustrated that I can't do that four times in a row. I can do it the first 10 games, but then <laughs> the 10 games after, it's a fail. It's just, it's a total fail. Fail, and I need to stay composed, and I need to play better. I just, I do... And uh, I was disappointed because I went 9-0. It was actually a 9-0. And, and then my 10th game I lost from, from that last, you know, 70th, 70th minute goal. So, very disappointing. Could have had a lead one this week. Um, but uh, you will see what we do get. We got something very good. We got a ranking that was very good. And I can't wait. We did get a lead. I'm going to tell you that. We did get a lead. So be sure to watch tomorrow's episode to see what we got. But that'll be it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to leave your comments down below for me to answer in tomorrow's episode. That'll be it for me. I hope you enjoy your day and have a good one. As always, 
Peace.